in this video we're going to start building the frame. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to connect the PDB. The PDP is going to be displaced like that, so we're going to put on the standoff. Before that I'm going to uh, prepare the soldering points to apply solder to each of them. I'm going to use my third hand tool. It's a very useful tool if you want to solder uh, electronics accessories and so on. So it is easier. Next, I'm going to connect the XT60 connector. You have also plus and minus here, so make sure you put it on the right direction. First, put it inside like that, and then you can solder this joint. So the PDB is ready to be placed. I'm gonna place it like that on the standoffs. We're going to take four of these hex spacers and then just put it in this manner. After you're done, just place the PDB and you will have to put four of these screws on the bottom. And just screw it like that. Of course, use hex driver. We're done and we're gonna continue to place the ESCs. We're going to connect each ESC to the motors. As you can see this build is a bit tight so for example the ESC is going to be placed here and the motor here. So we would like to cut we would, li we would like to cut these wires and connect them to the uh, ESC. Be careful not to cut these wires too close because you're gonna have some problems uh, to solder it up. So I recommend to cut it around here and then solder it to the ESC. So we're gonna do it four times, once for each motor and ESC. I think it's easier just to cut here around the ESC, then disassemble these wires and then connect it directly. Then you don't have to make a joint connection, for example, which is going to be a bit weaker. After we uncovered the tips, so we're going to put some solder on to make the soldering process easier. Now we need to connect the motor to the ESC. Okay, so we're going to repeat this process for the next four ESCs and motor. So I finished wiring all the ESCs to the motors and I had to cut it a bit shorter than what I showed you before because it wasn't it didn't fit uh, on the frame. And one more thing, I had also to reverse the direction of the XT6 the connector because the battery is going to be on the bottom, not on top. So it's better to put it like that. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put each motor and ESC on the frame. I'm going to connect it using the provided screws and you have to make sure you put it on the right direction. On each motor you have this rotating uh, arrow that shows you the direction of the motor. This is gonna be the front of the quadcopter so you'll have to put this one, this is the counterclockwise motor, it's gonna be placed here, here is gonna be clockwise, then clockwise, counterclockwise here and a clockwise motor here. So let's put all the screws and I will show you the results in the next video. After finishing installing all the motors it 
starting to look like a quadcopter. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to solder the ESC to the PDB. One thing I think it's worth mentioning that in each uh, bag of screws, you're getting five screws. So in total, you're going to have four uh, screws as spares. So I recommend to just take one of the uh, bags and put everything inside and put it aside. If something, if one of the screws will just uh, get lost or something like that, it's always nice to have spares. So, as I said, let's go ahead and solder all the ESCs. It's pretty easy. All you have to do, just the red one, of course, goes to the plus, and the black one goes to the minus. And I'm going to cut it a bit so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna fit better. Uh, so I'm going to cut the wires so they're gonna be shorter in this manner. So let's go to work. Okay, so I finished those two. I think I'm gonna do this one a bit better. And we're gonna do the same for the rest of the ESCs. So I finished soldering all the ESCs. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the F3 board and connect the signal wires from the ESC to the board.